Hi, Rook. Um, can I ask you a question? Actually, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, you're several lines ahead of me here. Let's start with me saying, Hi, Ballara. Right. Okay. It's just, you know, the elf thing. We're fighting our gods. Our gods. It feels a little surreal, and I know surreal. Yeah, it's an adjustment. A whole lot of elven customs are feeling kind of weird right now. I'm worried about our people. Or more like how other people see us. Maybe people don't trust us. Maybe they shouldn't. Our gods aren't us. We can't judge people by their rulers, especially if those rulers are tyrants. Elves haven't been like that for centuries. That feels too easy. Like we're not taking responsibility. And I don't know, I, I feel guilty. Anytime I think about it, really. So who's that helping? Who's what helping? Feeling guilty? Well, no one, I guess, but then what should I do? It'd be easy to pretend that stories about the benevolent elven gods were true, but we know they weren't. So what do we do to make up for them, I mean? Be honest about our history, but also about who we are now. We're more than our ancient past. Is it that easy though, just being honest? Honesty is hard work, but it's the right kind of work. It's important work. Right. I get it. It's hard. All of it's hard. But I feel better. A little bit, anyways. Thanks for talking to me and listening to me. Hey, anytime. That's what I'm here for. Right. It's a good thing to be here for. See you later, Rook. Lucanus, are you in here brooding? I'm fine. That's not a no. I had her. She should have never gotten away from me. This was our contract, Rook. I don't fail my contracts. Forget about Gillanane. That's why I'm here. I know, but... I'm just happy you didn't get killed out there. You shouldn't go easy on me. Mistakes get people killed. You're an assassin. So do successes. I thought I still had this. Whatever else I am, I'm a professional. After the ossuary, I thought at least I could still take out a target. I need to work. You might need sleep more than work at this point. You might be right. It's not over, just... Take care of yourself for now, okay? I was distracted. That cannot happen again. I need to get my head on straight. Whatever you need to do. Have you been to talk to the others? Davrin, especially. I think everyone might have things to deal with now. I should check in with the crows. Whatever the word is, I'll let you know. There's nothing like work to focus the mind. Davrin, Davrin, about Weishaupt. Davrin, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I can't believe Weishaupt is gone. It's always been there, protecting the world. Wasn't supposed to be like this. 
That's Renald. Malmond. Anya. We used to argue. Who would be the one to take an archdemon down? Who would die so that others could live? Not sure any of us believed it had actually happened. When the moment came, you did the Wardens proud. Did I? Because I'm still here. They're not. There's no getting them back. But at least they died heroes. And I should have joined them. A Grey Warden kills an Archdemon, they're supposed to die. Who knows what happened? Maybe the gods changed things and the old rules don't apply. Why is being alive a problem? Because I didn't expect to be here. Grey Wardens have an expiration. It pushed me. There's more fight to go. And if we manage to pull that off? You'll do what you do best. Hunt monsters. Plenty of people can do that. I'm talking purpose. I feel like a blade sharpened all these years to confront the worst darkness in the world. And my blade struck true at Weishaupt. What now? Well, you'll raise a sun to create a world where the light outshines the darkness. Yeah? Well, let me tell you. That... will require a lot more ginger wart truffles. <laughs> huh. That's more like it. Good to have you back. Somebody has to feed his feathery butt. You live to serve, my friend. Guess we're stuck with each other, boy. No getting rid of me now. Someday I might actually know what that means. While you sort that out, maybe you and Lucanus can try to bury the hatchet? Yeah. He had a rough time of it, too. I know. That was an incredible shot he took at Gillinane. Then tell him that. Because fighting each other won't help us defeat the gods. But we've got help. The Wardens, Shadow Dragons, Crows, Veil Jumpers. We're all in this together. We are. But they've all got their own problems. If we want their help, we have to help them first. Is that a plan I hear forming? I think it could be. Thanks, Davern. Nev, that coffee in the kitchen, you made it? Keen eye. Did you boil it? If so, why? I'm not picky. I got a cup and it does the job. That's all I ask. I don't know where to go with this. I think your coffee hurt his feelings. Apologies to you and the beans. That could only hurt me if I drank it. So what's the coffee for? What isn't it for? The Venatori used the dragon attack for a power grab. Now they treat Docktown like their personal playground. I've heard more cries for help than I can count. And now the threats have reached out. I mean Rathu's crime syndicate. Smuggling, extortion, protection rackets. The threats do it all. They stay out of slavery, and they hate Venatori. Enough to keep picking fights. My contact in the Threads, Alec, wants to talk. He doesn't reach out for nothing. The situation with the Venatori... It's fallen apart so fast. In Darktown, we don't get a lot of people in our corner. What do you think that looks like? There must be a way to help. A way I can help. If you need more coffee, I'll make it. Well, now... Is that sweet, or trying to save me from myself? Let's call it both.
The fall of Weishaupt reverberated across the Fade, as did the fall of an Archdemon. But unless I am mistaken, both Elganan and Gilanane yet stand. We took down Gilanane's Archdemon, but we weren't able to kill her. And how are you doing? Honestly, what happened at Weishaupt hit me hard. You saw the Venatori seize control of Minrathus. What makes Weishaupt harder to bear? This time I was in charge. The Grey Wardens listened to my plan. My team followed orders. Everyone was depending on me. But we couldn't kill Gilanane. Weishaupt fell because I failed. Rook. I led a rebellion against Elganan for a hundred of your lifetimes. I have been where you now stand. Do you know how many times I had to order my rebels to retreat when we were outmatched in raw power? You rendered Gilanane mortal and escaped with your lives. The sting of wishing you had done more will push you to improve. But Weishaupt was a victory, and your team will see your passion, even if you must conceal the extent of your own pain. How are your companions, after what happened? They have what it takes to stop the gods. I just need to get them to believe it. Indeed. They must know beyond any doubt that you believe in them. You cannot stand against Elganan and Gilanane with logic. Those motivated by greed or self-interest will change alliances, but those who serve you with passion and loyalty will follow wherever you lead, even to their deaths if necessary. I'm not planning to order anyone to their deaths. If you gain their loyalty, they will need no orders. They will volunteer. I can't build these people up knowing I might have to send them to their deaths. There's always another option. Perhaps you are right. Building your team is the best way to minimize the chance of such an order becoming necessary. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any suggestions on our next move against the gods? If you oppose Elganan and Gilanane's minions, you will get your opportunity. You think one of the Antom or Venatori commanders will help us find the gods? Possibly. But more importantly, you will aggravate them. You rendered Gilanane mortal at Weishaupt. It is an embarrassment. An insult. Neither she nor Elganan can ignore. If you continue to disrupt their plans, you will not need to track them down. They will come to you. I'll be ready. One final warning. You have survived a confrontation with Gilanane, which few still live to claim. But her power pales in comparison to Elganan's. If he takes the field himself, remember, in a fight such as ours, escaping to fight another day is a victory. Hey, am I interrupting? Done in a sec. 
Morning ritual. The Darsam. Those are the ropes people who follow the Kune wear? We bind ourselves to remember who we are. Tie down the stuff that's too dangerous to leave loose. My mother made me do it every morning before breakfast. I had big fingers. Used to take me forever. Avatash. Shoka Toebra. Only a beast is confounded by knots. A girl masters herself and the Darsa. Looks like you got them under control eventually. Meh. Yeah. Rook, Tosh, glad I caught you both. The Grey Wardens found a cave that one of the Blighted Dragons uses as its lair. Where? In the Hosberg wetlands. There's no sign of the dragon itself, though. I should check it out. We need to know how different the Blighted Dragons really are. They might turn into something like Gillanane's Archdemon did. If there's a clue... I have to be ready. Oh, Rook. Sorry, I mean, hello. Everything okay? I don't know. I don't think so. Yanarl is missing, and others, Strife, I mean, Strife told me. What kind of missing? They went back to where I met you, where we found the archive. You know, just in case. It's been a week. No one's heard from them. And it's my fault. It's not your fault, Bellara. Please, I need to blame someone, even if it's me. Bellara, they know what they're doing. It's not on you. Isn't it? If... If I missed something, if that artifact turned back on... Let's start looking where we met earlier. Where the Veil Jumpers would have gone in. Might be another anomaly, or more demons. Well, let's just be ready. Ready for what? For anything. This is ominous. Biago found something. Something bad, I take it? Benatori and Treviso. Like I thought. One of them might know where Zara is. Biago has crows watching them. We find them. We find Zara. Everything she did to you. We'll make her pay, Lucanus. Side by side. We just have to get this done. I'm not losing anyone else. We only get one shot at this. We go when you're ready.
Okay, that's enough. Quiet now. Fine. Who wants a treat? I didn't know Manfred could eat. Not sure if he knows either, but it worked. Let's see what he does with it. Yeah, if I had a treat. That was just a little white lie to quell the riot. Are you sure it's little to them? Now you've done it. Manfred won't be denied. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Rook? It isn't be quiet. Sorry, it's all I've got. Wait, you can't just leave me with this. Good luck with that. I'm Flynn, apprentice physician. Everything all right? I've been busy with patients, but I'm short on medical supplies. My mentor, Oscar, he should have some. He has a cabin outside the village. If you're out there, tell him you saw Flynn, and they could use his help. So Flynn must be local. Which means they were here when the blight surged through. <laughs> Mierda. Mierda. We've got company.
I'm good to go again. Tree. A map and plans from the missing ward. He's gone. He was drawn to the tree. Did it lure him somehow? If his calling was close, it might have looked beautiful to him. We'll tell the wardens. must be the physician's, Flynn's mentor. Light. It's on the inside, too. We can still search it. medical supplies. There was a life here. There was. A notebook. It describes a local plant, Brona's Bloom. None here. 
But Oscar left to find more, for his wife. If he left before the cabin was blighted, we might still find him out there. Rona's bloom. This was in the physician's book. It's been picked over. The physician was gathering supplies. We should keep looking. <gasps> Rona's bloom. Picked over like the last one. Can't be a lot of places these grow anymore. Spawn. Let's finish this. There's a body. Couldn't escape the dark spawn. His bag. Brona's blue. This was the physician. Oscar. Take the supplies. They can still help the village. Before they blight. Evka and Antoine will fight to restore as much as they can. With blight this bad, hard to say how that goes. The fight's not done yet. Good luck out there. Please come by again.
Flynn, we have Brona's bloom. That will really help. Thank you. Oscar, the physician. Was he... or his wife, Marta? I'm sorry. They're gone. You're from here, right? You were Oscar's apprentice. I knew him and Marta my whole life. I was at the end of my training. I'll... I'll make sure it's put to good use. With these plants, I can help the village, the wardens, whoever needs it. With the blight surge, how have things been in the village? Bad. People are scared. Some are sick. We know Darkspawn are out there. And that's a death without mercy. But this is the Anderfels. If you aren't dead, then you're still alive. It sounds like Oscar was a good friend. You could talk to him about anything and he'd be interested. Plants, books, sword training, listening to me figure myself out, the non-binary stuff. He was all ears. When I said I wanted to help people, he said he'd train me, but that I'd find my own ways too, and I'd have to tell him all about it. You're doing good work here. I'm glad I could help. It's not just me. The Wardens have a medic. Between the two of us, we'll get by. I want to help. I almost lost the chance. What do you mean? When the Blight surged through, I nearly died. Evka and Antoine found me, but I was blighted. Past healing. They let me take the Warden joining ritual. It saved my life. And gave me Warden abilities. Does that mean you're a Grey Warden? It should mean I have no choice. The joining ingredients are rare. If that first Warden had found me... Evka and Antoine said I'm welcome. But they're happy to see me continue as I am. The joining ritual gives Wardens their abilities. What was it like? What's it like now? I shouldn't go into the details. It wasn't fun. But I'm here. Even if I'm... different now. So Antoine and Evka giving you a choice? It's against the Order's rules. Or it was. I don't know if they broke the rules or maybe something will change. What they did? <sighs> but Evka said to stop thanking them. You've been through... You're still going through a lot. I'm sorry. It's been... Keeping busy helps. But thank you. You know I can sense the blight in my warden patients? I can't reverse it, but I think it helps my treatments. I won't be killing Darkspawn. But I'll fight the blight my way. I'm still Lavendale's physician. Whatever else has changed, that hasn't. I think what you're doing here, helping the injured, it's great. Thanks, Rook. Just try not to need my help personally. Between us, the medicines I mix taste awful. No promises. You're breathing easier? You've got patience first, thing, not you? But if you have more questions, I'll really stop. Uh, I had a uh, It came through so fast. I didn't have time to grab... I don't know. I don't know what should have Warden Alona, medic for the Order, or those of us here at least. I've got a lot of patience, but I'll help as I can. Take care, Rook.
Rook, I'm Greta. Good to have you here. How's Lavendel? We have to keep this place safe. These people? We can't let them down. Tosh, what are you doing? She's not in her lair. I was ready. I could have fought her. Tosh, doesn't matter. I can still look for clues. See if she'll turn into a monster like Killinane's archdemon did. I have to figure this out. I'm a dragon slayer! Tosh, I know what happened at Weishaupt shook you. Stop! Just stop! I need to kill the dragon! Why? What do you need to prove? Wait. Look at that. Ropes. Canari ropes. The Antam. They're the ones who've been blighting the dragons for the gods. Those fucking ropes. They tie her down with these ropes so they can blight her. They turn her into something blighted and ugly and wrong. Some she was never supposed to be. Chakra Toebra. I've got to be ready to fight her. I'm a dragon slayer. Tosh. I'm a crappy Kunari. I'm not really Ravani. I'm no good as a daughter. I'm not even... I can't even be a woman, right? I have to be a dragon slayer. Tosh, listen to me. You are not blighted, or ugly, or wrong. So why do you think you are? My mother put these ropes on me. She tied me up. Why did she do that? Is it because I didn't fit as a woman? Is it why I don't fit as a woman? Oh, Tosh. The Shadow Dragons say there are people who use they instead of he or she. They're not men or women. And I like how it feels when I imagine myself that way. But... I'm not supposed to breathe fire. Am I not supposed to feel like this? What does she want me to be? The Kuhn has everyone wear the Darsam, right? Even your mother. None of the other Kanari kids did. Sure, but their parents left the Kuhn. Shathan didn't. She carried it with her all the way to Ravain. Yeah. I may not get Kunari culture, but I know those ropes aren't a punishment. They're to help you be who you are, whoever you are, even if it's a struggle to get there. Chakra Toebra. I want to be... No. I am Kunari, and I'm not the daughter my mother wanted. That Tosh, she was never really me. Who is the real Tosh? She is... They are... Not a woman. Or a man. The Shadow Dragons had some fancy terms, but... Using they, and knowing that... It feels... Good. Sounds like a good start. Thanks. Come on. Let's get out of here. Sounds good.
be ready. Keep it coming, bro. Darkspawn, bring him down and we'll clear a path. I'll make this quick. be easier to travel through here. That'll help the wardens. Than Harrell Altar. Got company. Not bad, Rook. 
for a veil jumper. Are you all right? We wanted to prove we could stop the Darkspawn. That we deserve to be here. There had to be a reason we survived when so many others at Weiss helped. I'm not as bad as I look. I can get myself back to Lavendel. Thank you. I just... need a moment to say goodbye. Trouble nearby. <sighs> Take away the blight, and the boat ended up like that one.
light. It snaked its way up the whole building. They were here, but it's been a while. Fire's cold. Tracks are mostly gone. So where'd they go? Supplies are still here, and untouched. So you think they'd be close? In the ruins. I mean, probably. But something feels... Rook? Let's be careful. Very, very careful. Right. a lot like the fade tears we saw when Solus was doing his ritual. But we can walk through these. Is that safe? It's the only way across, so I hope so. Through here. Yanarl. Oh. 
cameo? Melora. Oh, pretty recently, too. But there's something else. A little older and weirdly familiar. Where do I know that from? We'll have to cross here. Just, you know, don't look down. It's, well, a long way to the ground. magic. So what does that mean? It means we hurry.
Is Maloris, I mean. So why would a demon have it? And where's Melora? I don't know. I wish I did, but I just... I don't. I can't think of any explanation that makes this a good thing. Then we should hurry. Yeah. Right. getting close how sure are you as sure as I can be that's all I've got that's good enough for me right of course thanks Are you okay? We have to stop it. Get them down. Boris Shivan? I can't believe it. It's really you. I'd hoped you might come, but I didn't let myself believe it. Syrian. Lara? Are you all right? You're dead. No. No, nothing could be further from the truth. He delivered me, as he will deliver us all. He? Who's he? Who are you talking about, Syrian? Who saved you? I did. So who are you, exactly? One who sought this form to speak with you all, who cannot yet manifest. Soon enough, though, with Syrian's aid. I am Anoris. They call me... A Forgotten One. Yes, well done. Forgotten, but not gone. The Sixth and the Seventh Rome free, and the way stands clear. And I will guide your, our, people to ascension. As the others have found, as these two will soon find. The demons. They were the Veil Jumpers. How could you do something like that to your own people? You wanted to save our people. How does this do that? I didn't... I mean, they wouldn't... Alas, a regrettable possibility. If the ritual is done wrong. You told me it would give them strength. Purity. You never said it could kill them. I had assumed you could handle such a trifling task, Syrian. Perhaps I chose my herald poorly. If you lack the conviction to see your people ascend... Why, Syrian? Why do this? Why him? Because only he offers the truth and is willing to help our people. That's all I've ever wanted. All we've ever wanted. No, not like this. Never like this. Why couldn't you stay a memory? 
Come now, Syrian. We will leave your sister to her contemplation. As well as other things. We have to get them out. Good idea. But how? Working on it. Ready when you are. Okay, I've got it. I think. If we break the artifacts on the edges, the energy flow should stop. You sure? No, but it's all, all I've got. It's working! One more to go! More demons incoming. Yeah. Hurry! Got it. These should be the last demons. Hang in there, Yanaro. <laughs> and Yonaro back to camp. Shouldn't we go after Syrian? He's gone. Come on, let's signal the others. Ready to signal the others? Yeah, let's let them know where we are. Okay, I'll give them the signal. Yanaro's still breathing. Same as Hamil. Because of you. So Syrian's alive. Damn. And working with a forgotten one? You sure it was him? I wish I wasn't. But it was him. Or close enough. Raising demons? Killing veil jumpers? How could he. My brother. What was that mask he was wearing? It started glowing. Bronze? Kind of ugly? Yes, exactly. An Ivanir's Bond mask. Damn. We found a few of them around Arlathan, but they were broken, or at least dormant. But with all the raw magic the gods brought back into the world, guessing that's changed things. The mask would link to one of the gods, or a sufficiently powerful mage, let you feel whatever they felt, mostly used to control their servants. So Syrian's being controlled? That isn't him? Servant, not slave. We can't control your thoughts. You just feel what they feel. For some people, that's enough. So what should we do now? We can't let him keep doing this. Not to our people. We need to stop him. No matter what. I know, Strife, but I can get through to him. 
I, I know I can. And if you can't? Right. Let's go. Weiss Haupt gone. It'll only embolden the guards to make more trouble. Looking to inflict some pain? I have what you need. Safe travels. I hope the Grey Wardens can regroup. They found more relics. How do these things keep popping up? Always eager for your business. I'm always open. The fifth Talon said someone was coming. That you? The demon of Virantium? I thought you were dead. I get that, Ilan. We found a group of Venatori hiding out in the market. 
Not far from Cafe Pietra. I knew it. I told Ilario they were still here. Let's see if they know where we can find Zara Renata. Hmm, is this what you call acting for Treviso? Is this all you Don't let those Aitan trouble you. Please, come back. It's locked. So we don't go through the door. Get moving, you layabouts. Don't keep Aquila waiting. He'll be a miserable pain in the ass all day. to shame. Once they're in, they're in. Nothing useful. Nothing in here. Here. Now this could lead us somewhere. One step closer to the target. Aquila, huh? This is Zara's toady. Let's go meet Zara's trusted little toady at the bank.
sorted. What are Venatori doing so far from Tevinter? To the Venatori, all of Thedas is former Tevinter, just waiting to return to the Empire. Pockets are stuffed with jewelry from the Chantry. Benaturi and a Chantry. Let's see if we can catch them there.
Are you sure you're ready for this? Facing Zara, I mean. I lost a year of my life to that Benatori witch. I owe her for that. you are. What took you so long? Did you stop for coffee again? Ilario? What are you doing here? I'm coming with you, cousin. No arguments. This is my job. This is grow business. How did you even know we'd be here? Rook, always a pleasure. Touring the city with my cousin? You must allow me to show you the sights. We're all here. We may as well go see Zara together. There, you see? Rook understands. Rook, don't encourage him. This isn't your type of job, cousin. There's no one you can charm into dropping their guard. Only fanatics. All you can do is get yourself killed. Do you think I'm not good enough? Are you? Fine. Have it your way, cousin. You know best. Let's go, Rook. Zara is waiting. Go on, then. Don't keep Zara waiting. You were right, Lucanus. They are hiding in the Chantry. Dragon of Night. Better be ready. You dare interrupt! Better ah! warning! You can all three of their bodies to Lord Lucifer and play the Gothic Hills. Coming in range! That's the last of them. No, that was Portia. 
Zara's favorite dreamer and soothsayer. She used to come to the Osho every to read bones. If she's here, so is Zara. Let's go. Another dark hole. Zara will not escape me. We'll finish the job. I will bring the lady. Be sorry, your beating heart. Hey! Zara around the prison like a sycophantic shadow. We're close. He won't be far from her side. Here are the bodyguards. Let's make this quick. We're close. 
I can feel someone using blood magic. A lot of blood magic. You can sense that? It makes the back of my eyes hurt. Civilized to drop in on a lady unannounced. Now the evening's ruined. Of all the ways this could go down, I didn't expect we'd catch you in the bath. This interruption won't last long. Your mind, Zara. This ends with my knife through your heart. And her temper, Lucan. about the Notori.
We can't wait around for more Venatori. Help me get Lucanus out of here. I can't. That thing controlling him tried to kill me. I'll get you a boat, but I can't be near him. Rook, keep him away. From Treviso, from the cross, he is a danger to the family. You're awake. Yes. I've been trying to figure out what to say to you. And there aren't words enough to apologize. I never wanted you to see me like that. And yet, I'm still here. We need to talk about Ilario. He wants you to stay away from the Crows. He thinks you're a danger to your family. He's not wrong. If I cannot stay in control... He used blood magic to control Spite. What? How? He's not a mage. I don't know, but something's not right. The night you were captured, did Ilario know you were boarding that ship? Yes. I'm sure there's a good explanation for all of this. There better be. Hey, good. I wanted to ask you something. My mother and I have a weekly dinner thing. I was gonna meet her in Ravain. Wanna come? Fresh food. And I want her to know you're good to work with. Sure.
Now I'm getting somewhere. You are late. And you brought a guest. I hope I'm not putting you out. No, this is Tasha's home as much as mine, even if she does not visit very often. <laughs> I don't smell the ISCOP. We always have ISCOP on Tuesdays. I am not yet finished with my studies. I thought you would help me tonight. And by help, you mean do it all. You haven't even chopped the melons. You swing axes all day. Do you lack the strength to chop a few melons? <sighs> the runes on the tablet are written in the old Kunari tongue, but they are incomplete. So they never finished it? No. It is clearly finished, but parts of letters have been hidden somehow rendering the tablet unreadable. What if it's got some kind of secret code so that only the right people can read it? That is unlikely. I have studied the first expedition for decades. I have never seen the writing encoded. What do you mean, the first expedition? Your history teaches that Kunari landed on Thedas 300 years ago. 
in the Steel Age. This is true, but incomplete. Almost a thousand years earlier, the first expedition came only to vanish. They were Kunari who predated the Kune itself. That is what I study. Here, food's ready. This is not Iscap. It was gonna take too long. I wanted to hear about the tablet. Did you? Yeah. Well, as I said, it is at least a thousand years old. Hara merads a sum. More emphasis. The sentence is a march, not a race. Hera merad zesham. I'm trying. I'm glad you came, Panahidan. <sighs> Thanks for coming. She used she. You haven't told her yet. I was going to. Then we got here and she was like that. You should be able to be yourself around her. Huh. Hey, you get to be who you are. I know, I know. <sighs> I'll tell her. When you're ready, on your terms. Thanks. I can't believe you're asking for a favor as though nothing's happened. What crapped in your bed? Oh, sorry. Didn't know you two were in Rook. the middle of... Excellent. Come in. Uh, we could use a second sober voice. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. It's a figure of speech. I was wondering when this would happen. I don't follow. You two didn't seem to be bonding. I need one of these little needle things to dig some crap out of my armor. Death Mage won't give me one. First, a bone threader is an extremely delicate instrument. Second, it's Emric, Tash. My name is Emric, not Death Mage, not Corpse Guy, not... I won't repeat the rest. What? You are a Death Mage. Why are all my attempts to converse with you met with scorn? What have I done to you, Tash? You talk about corpses too much. It's a rich topic. No, corpses are messed up. They used to have people in them. You make a move like they're alive, but they smell wrong and they move wrong and none of it is okay. Oh. Especially the ones with skin still on them. Look, you two may never be best friends. Nope. But maybe we can aim for getting along. I'd no idea necromancy upset you so deeply, Tosh. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't think you feared anything. I don't. But I could have said it was bugging me. 
I didn't think you cared what I thought. Of course I do. We're colleagues on this journey. Okay. Sorry I called you a skull fu- Liker. Skull liker. You two could still learn things together you'd never find out alone. Emmerich, you clearly find talking about dragons boring. What? How? Who doesn't like dragons? Aren't you curious why Tosh likes them as much as you like necromancy? The question crossed my mind. And maybe Emmerich could help demystify magic, Tosh. Maybe he could share a little. So I know how to deal with walking corpses next time I'm in an old ruin. I'd be happy to. Thought you might be. I've heard that helps people think. Can't say I've had luck with it. Lucanus? Where is he? No further! Isn't standing up to them supposed to work? Let Lucanus go! Don't make us hurt both of you! What's going on? Lucanus? It's not Lucanus, it's the demon! It's taking him over, he's trying to leave! <sighs> Smells like jam and brimstone. Rook, do something! Spite, stop. You're not taking Lucanus through the Alluvian. I could, if you'd move. So you can take him where? Off a cliff, or worse? How did... Rook? Dash? Uh... You... tried to walk through the Alluvian in your sleep. Spite wanted out. I need coffee. Are you sure you're all right? This could be better. It's hard for Spy to take control when I'm awake, so I try to stay awake. You can't just stay awake forever. I think that would kill you. I'll be more careful next time. We do have magical experts here, you know. Once we put our heads together, we'll figure this out. I already talked to Nev and Bellara. Don't worry about it. This won't happen again. And thanks.
A candle hop. Is this for us? Strange. He wants us to find more. a viper claw once, only to find a blood rate at the end of the trail. I found Ilario at the end of mine. Look on the bright side. What good are you as an assassin without a mark? Let's try this again. We were going to talk. You come looking for me? Hello, Alec. And Cedar. You sing at the Cobbled Swan. And spy for the threads? You got it. All right. You called. I showed up. Why are we here? Because the Venatori are targeting threads. We want the scales tipped back in our favor. Please, tell us how to help. <laughs> Aren't you polite? Cut to the chase, Alec. The Venatori are taking our people, and they aren't shy about it. They walked into the Swan and abducted our boss, Marco Damas. The Threads always kept their leader secret, pulling strings from the shadows. Yeah, well the Venatori found us out, declared they were securing Doctown as they dragged him out. Cedar was performing at the time, so the whole thing That must have been awful. I'm not a fighter. Boss always said if trouble broke out, just keep the show going. He could handle it. Guess he couldn't this time. It's an easy deal. Right, Nev? We've had our differences, but the Threads are better neighbors than the Venatori. Doctown's ours. We want them out as much as you. The cults got an inside track on our members. They're watching us. But you? I get it. You give us the lead, we go in alone. They hold up in the thread market. I'll get you access. Still won't be easy. Good luck, all right. <laughs> Here's hoping. So we're rescuing the leader of a crime syndicate. The Threads protect their streets. If we can swing power back in their favor, Doctown needs whoever will fight for it. Let's get to the market. All right, so when we get... Here. Hey, Master Eye on the lamp lighter. Kevin did have one of their friends. That's it for now, but we need to move before any more of the cult catches on. If the Venatoria are against the Threads, why take Damas? Why not kill him at the Swan? The Threads must have something the Venatori want. 
Okay. Let's find those threats. Keep your eyes open. What do you say, Thread? For the glory of heaven, Good. What are they doing? It's blood magic. They're using mind control on the threads. Threads are confined. Out of danger for now, but we need to get them out. Take out the mages in charge, and we break the control. Got it. They still want to fight! Controlling kidnapped threads with blood magic. If one of them revealed. Damas, taking the boss gets them everything. We need to find him. We gotta free everybody trapped here. Wait. I heard something. There's someone up ahead. Are you going to... can I go? Yeah. Control's broken. Take a moment to recover and then get out of here. Master Wallace, thank you. Thank you.
You got it. You're sure they're not controlled? I'm me, I'm me. It's fine. What's going on here? I don't know. They ask questions. People come back weird. You're good. Take a second to breathe, then go when you can. Thank you. The threads control Docktown. Smuggling rings, dirt on people, money. If the cult takes over, they get the lot. They can use the threads for muscle, or to get close to people who know them. But there's more to this. I can feel it. Quite the setup. That's Markel Damas? I could take him off your hands. He's not mine to give. Damas serves our best. Hello, Nev. I've missed you. You know me. Damas doesn't, but I do. You stopped me once, but my purpose remains. Alia. Rid me, Rathus, of this criminal. Kill him. Will anyone notice in Docktown? I won't be stopped. What have you done, Aelia? Speaking directly through him? Puppetry? The blood magic needed. Impressed? It pales next to the power De Vinto once had. Say the word and we move. Together. How familiar. Enough. You dealt with Bataris and his relic. You found us here. No further. The risen god showed me the path. 
to our legacy. Salvation? I am this city's future. And you'll stay out of my way. We need to subdue Damas fast, to keep him alive. This wretch! I would use him for something better, even if it's stopping you. No one should die like that. Nev, this person controlling Damas. We can talk later. Is this place better? The favorite petty scheme. Is it better? I will give everyone a great Nev staff is gonna give your face a greater cause. Do you lead these people astray? Leave them out, Smith. What's wrong, Alia? You won't shake me this time. Alia, taking over the threads. It secures the Venatori a little more power, but I know you. There's more. You're setting us up. For what? For Minrathus. Our ancient power restored. Our destiny renewed. And damn the lives it takes. We've played this game before. The game never ended. I don't care what you're playing, but Nev's got backup. Nev keeps her own agenda. If a fool's caught in it... I've been called worse. Minrathus is broken, but you like it. Does it flatter your ego to leave the city as it is? To prove your cynicism right? I am our hope. I'll change these streets, starting with Doctor. It could do better. Goodbye, Nev. Van Hedges. Fucking cultists. Snakes! They'll pay for this. Damas, are you all right? I wouldn't be. Nev Gallus, if you're here, Alex sent you. You're welcome. You did me a favor. I heard you stopped a red lyrium relic. And the Venatori responsible walked. But Taurus, I've got dirt on him. Enough for the shadows to make a move. Consider it my thanks. Are you sure? With everything going on, do you want Thread Blackmail mixed in? You've seen what's happening to Docktown. We need to fight with what we've got. I'll take the offer. Consider it done. Like us or not, the Threads protect their streets. We share an enemy? Don't forget that. There's no one else here. The person controlling him... She's gone. I gave Damas's information to the surviving Shadow Dragons. They'll run with it. Bataris is one man, but that's one less Venatori to deal with. You know, I didn't expect backup for this job. I wasn't looking to drag you in. We saved Damas. 
The stuff with Aelia, we'll figure it out. This doesn't end well. Who is she? Besides an evil blood mage. A damn fanatic. A believer in Tevinter's former glory. I caught her trying to save the city. The ritual, what she wanted to summon. She'd have sacrificed us all. I caught her. The Templars had her. Turns out, Aelia had sympathy in the right places. She disappeared from her cell, but I had a lead. I should have gone alone. But I went looking for backup. Someone I could trust, Rana. I found her partner first. Brahm always wore that Andrastian pendant. Had it that night, too. He was a pain. But at the end of the day, he always showed up, tried to do the right thing. Like it's easy. He went in too fast. Aelia found him, she got out. Brahm didn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Aelia's trail weren't cold after that. The Templars stopped putting people on it. They buried Brahm's death. Like it was nothing. Said it wasn't an official case that he didn't have orders. He put protecting Docktown first. He helped me. And that's what he got. What now? A dragon attack, Aelia's back, and backed by a god. Where does it end? I can't say a lot of people show up for me, Rook, or that it ends well when they do, but today, you came through for Docktown this time, even when I didn't expect it. I wasn't there for the dragon. If only I could be everywhere at once. But even if I'm late, I've got your back. Hopefully that's enough. I'll take late over never. And I'm around, if you need me. An invitation has manifested to the Black Emporium in Docktown. The antiquarian there is stagnant and stubborn, but he offers forgotten treasures for those in need.
Another message asking for help dealing with Venatori. Let's get to it. Break those crystals! We need to get through that barrier! Let's hurry. I don't like the tone of that note. Someone over there. Looks like she needs help. Right.
this message. You're connected to the other candle hop we met. Let's finish the job. Are you all right? I'll be fine, I think. But the Viper isn't. The Venatori have him. They're going to kill him, publicly. Said it would break the Shadow Dragons and Dock Town. Where? The Temple of Andraste. They said it would suit him. Please hurry. There. As you found their names, I felt them whisper through the Fae. My own name changed. I am now Eulogy. I will remember them, a light glowing in memory. Damaged after those shots from the palace. I guess we get demons or this. I'll catch up the forum before we get to this down here. Been busy. Do you want to go to see the show later?
Get Viper out of there before more Venatori show up. That's sorted. Holding off death for yet another day, it seems. I didn't expect help with the Shadow Dragons laying low. I'm in your debt, Rook. How did you end up in Venatori hands? The Shadow Dragon scattered when the Venatori gained power, but I couldn't give up. With blight in my blood, I've got nothing to lose. Better to go down fighting. I thought putting down one of their commanders would help the city, but the Venatori expected me. I wish I could have saved everyone. So many were lost. The Venatori taunted me with that. So what now? What happens to the Shadow Dragons? I'll get word out. We'll find each other. We once started from nothing but a dream. We can do so again. Or maybe you should rest. Haven't you done enough? The Blight. The Blight will take me down no matter what. I'd rather take action before it does. I have to believe Minrathus can survive this. And emerge stronger. Better. Even if I'm not here to see it. Who dies next? Latest chapter of Ophidian Hall. Read it now. Buskers disappearing from Docktown. But why? Something to look into. Those missing buskers performed here. Let's see what we can find. Wine. A lot of it. Silent planes beget. Only Benetori would drink that swill. They were here for a while, drinking, waiting for... what? Let... Let's check outside, see where they went. Wine. Probably a cheap vintage. Not the same as the wine inside. I think the buskers drank out here. That's blood. Did one of the buskers get hurt? Usual. 
No busker would leave their instrument behind. Strings are broken. Somebody knocked this instrument around. All right. The Venatori are drinking inside. They have a signal for when the buskers finish. The buskers go outside for a drink. If they're distracted, then the Venatori ambush them and haul them away. So we don't know why yet, but we know where the buskers were taken. The lookout. Huh. Alos, how are you? Huh? Glad to be alive. After the dragon attack, I wanted to check in. Appreciate it. I finished out the list. Good work. What brought a dragon to Minrathus? Are more coming? Let's find those buskers. Stay ready, though. The Venatori are playing rough. <gasps> Another message for us. Someone trusts will follow the trail. Still warm. Whoever was on watch just left. Dead. He's Venatori, not one of the buskers. Stabbed in the back, and not by a professional. Someone saw their chance and took it. We need to find the busk. Empty. Where are they? A restaurant pamphlet. The garden. It mentions performers. Seems a little convenient. We could approach the garden from the rooftops. That'll give us some cover. We still need to save the buskers, but if this is a trap, let's be smart about it.
trouble nearby. Get ready. Inventory. Not far from the garden. It's not a coincidence. Let's go in and see if there's any sign of what happened to the buskers. Someone wasn't spending much on their wine. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Overall Ale? good. Whiskey? Currently terrible. What's wrong? The pictures love the last cereal. Oh, that's good. They want a sequel. What can I get you? Have you seen any buskers from Dogtown today? Huh. I heard those songbirds had gone missing. The Venatori had plans. I set them straight. Good for you. If it's true. I ran into more Venatori a stone's throw from your place. If I can help, let me. All right. They're below. Just make it quick before someone sees you. Hello? Who goes there? Are you the buskers? We're here to help. So, are you a fellow felon? Call me Rook. I've been looking for missing buskers. Lex Aulos, street balladeer and sworn enemy of the Venatori, apparently. How did you piss them off? Well, say I'd composed a catchy but searing satirical ballad with rhymes for vainglory and excretory. And then Tot said ballad to every performer in town. That would do it. Well, thanks to you and the owner's entirely legitimate seaway access, we live to compose another day. Uh, perhaps it's time we take our act on the road. This city's a lot grimmer lately. Adieu, Rook. We'll sing your praises.
true the Antom have antique. Huh. Some kind of fabulous treasure buried in the city? In Minrathos. It's a trap. Had some wardens on the ship once. Sailed them to Javendra. Buskers in Dock Town? Who's our next rising star? Come to buy? I'm sure we can strike a deal. This world is so full of texture. Whispers, offers, someone made a deal with a demon. The note mentioned a bridge near here. No harm looking.
Hold the tower by the water. Hmm. A key. Well, this is promising. Now to find the door that this unlocks. Watch for danger ahead. Don't want to end up like that poor soul. Something feels off about this treasure hunt. Getting through that door. I know this was a trap. Oh, that smell. Where's the grip and leavings on a hot day? miserable way to go. The desperate, being lured down here by the promise of riches, only to find death. The treasure hunt. Someone took the game and twisted it. They didn't sell it as an adventure, they sold it as a way out. There's a demon feeding off the desperate in Minrathis, manipulating them. And those who don't listen die. Evidence points to the catacombs. The rest is on us.
Nothing in our way now. felt your presence in the ossuary. One of Zara's pets. She took me there a while, but I have been here much longer. You've been manipulating people in Docktown. I am an answer that they come seeking. I give them something to do when their world is cruel. People will do such fun things when they're desperate. One for us. With all that's happened, I can see how a demon of desperation woke up here. It could feed on the city, and make things worse. Fair that destabilizing the city only helps the Benetori. We can't undo what it did, but it won't do it anymore.
So you came in one Here it is. The Black Emporium. <laughs> we have company! <laughs> Urchin! <laughs> Where is that Urchin? Oh, don't tell me I misplaced another one! <laughs> no matter. Another candle hop. You think what she was researching? It's the reason... ...and she disappeared. Ready to level. Get you at the hill. Welcome to the Hall of Valor. I knew you'd find your way here sooner or later. Your kind always do. Looking to fight? Get yourself in order and head to the entrance. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In the Hall of Valor, give it up for renown. Great warden and monster slayers. a veil jumper to fight like that. The way Varric talked, I thought you were all about veil holes and creepy magic. Well, we specialize in weird magic, but there are enough demons and such to keep us honest.
up? Huh. Nice. You're still working? Just finishing some things up. You're always up. It's a bit worrying. Aw, oh, you don't have to worry about me. I know I don't have to, but you're not sleeping. Oh, right. I have dreams now. When I go to sleep, I mean. I thought dwarves didn't dream. Solus used the dagger to rip the dreams from the Titans. Maybe when I touched it, the dreams came back? It, uh... It's... Unnerving. It's like my mind's telling a story to itself and is really bad at it. I know exactly what you mean. That's typical of dreams. What about being scared? Is that typical too? That's a nightmare. Usually I'm being chased or hunted. There's something that glows red just out of my sight. And I, I know it's gonna get me, but I don't know how I know. And so you're here, thumbing through ledgers and unsure if you want to go to bed. Yeah, pretty much. But I already feel better, having talked about it. And now, <sighs> I'm gonna get some sleep, and hope the dreams are... safe. Good luck. Hey, Rook. Feels like home. What are you doing? The wisps are drawn to something around here. The boxes are baited with notes, baubles, things they steal. Maybe they're drawn to you. They've been seen here when I'm not. There's more to it. I could use a break, if you need extra eyes. Knock yourself out. Riveting case we've got here. I follow the leads I've got. What? You don't like a good stakeout? Maybe, if it comes with the story. You got something in mind? All right, best stakeout, go. I once spent nine days in a cramped attic keeping tabs on a suspect. He was posing as an Olesian street mime. That's your best stakeout? You know, his show wasn't half bad. Plus the attic was over a bakery. Best pie in Voldormer. Can wisps measure up? Got something. We are that good. Empty. We're still good.
Hi, Emmerich. Oh, uh, you've got a guest. Ah, Rook. You remember the Hand of Glory? Hard to forget. You figure out what those Venatori who broke into the Necropolis were doing with it? The Hand is how they broke in. The simpler undead are blind to its bearer when its tapers are lit. Sadly, only a death mage could have provided them with this forbidden necromancy. If they're helping the Venatori, that has to stop. Agreed. I've made some inquiries. This man is one of the Death Mage's victims. If he knows where this rogue necromancer is hiding, my corpse whispering will give us the answer. You can't just get what you need from, I, I don't know, marks on his body? How he died isn't the question. It's who held the knife. I'll not allow more victims like this. <sighs> okay, do all the corpse stuff. I must warn you, it will be harder to coax answers from this poor man than from the dead I spoke to in the necropolis. Let flame rekindle your sight. Let breath and light rise again. Who did this to you? I hidden. Dust and gold. Give us a name. They come for this one. The spirits shriek. They come. A name? Black Lord. Ah. <sighs> Return to your rest. We've got to stop this. Whoever killed him wasn't gentle. Wondrous and terrifying are the revelations of the dead. Did that name he said mean anything? Blackthorn Manor is an abandoned country house outside Navarra City. Our victim mentioned spirits. If they've also fallen prey to forbidden magic, they'll need our help as well. Let's depart for Blackthorn when you're ready. I'd like to speak to the necromancer behind all this. So, Blackthorn Manor. Let's hope that necromancer working with the Venatori is around. There's a malaise amongst the spirits here. Some form of confinement. This must be the place. Right. So why'd we bring that? Oh, it's essential we have the Hand of Glory. Great. Glad you remembered the disembodied hand. Fear not. I'll be its bearer. The magic laid upon a hand of glory is complex. Whoever killed its donor left their mark. 
So it'll lead us to whoever cut it off. Precisely. Most likely the necromancer who's been helping the Venatori. It would have taken extraordinary skill to layer the involutions on this artifact. <sighs> what a waste of talent. Bet whoever owned that hand agrees with you. We'll put an end to whatever's happening in this manner. That, I promise. Forbidden necromancy can twist spirits. We must find this death mage and stop whatever they've done to them. If there's a rogue necromancer here, they forgot to lock the door. The Hand of Glory's magic points inward to the northeast. Let's go look. This place smells weird. here than there should be. Where are they? I suspect the necromancer in this place has already helped themselves to these crypts.
necromantic evocation with an inversion in the higher seals. Our rogue necromancer has hidden something terrible behind this door. Can you open it? The door's seals are drawing on magic elsewhere in the manor, fueled by suffering. Let's put an end to that and get this door open. The Hand of Glory points to the northeast and southwest. about the Fade itself here. It's like places in Arlathan, where the old elves did a lot of magic. The spirits press closer than they should. Those candles gonna light up every time we go by? They should. The real question is whether it's a residual enchantment or if the manor has manifested a personality. Okay. You think about that. No! What have they done? This looks bad. Sacrifices, both spirit and human. And demons! I must free the spirit bound here. Oh, Emmerich? Someone's been harvesting their terror. Their souls! How dare they? What are they thi- Come, I can sense another spirit trapped here in the mansion.
Look at the door. Freeing one spirit has already weakened its seals. Halfway there. Another victim. And demons! been stealing the life, the essence of people who knew they were facing death. The effects persist, but the door we saw earlier should be unsealed. Hope that necromancer we're after is behind it. seals have been extinguished. Excellent. Let's open that door. Someone's torn a path into the Fade. It's imperative we find and stop this necromancer from keeping the Fade open. Okay. Need your expertise, Emmerich. The door's locked. It's the work of that rogue necromancer. They're already blocking our path. We must find a wisp to open it. still points the way. Okay. This necromancer has been once hopeless undead into the pain and soldiers. And a rage demon! The way won't open until we defeat them. That's the last of them. Are we gonna be fighting more demons and corpse crap at the same time? Our rogue necromancer knows exactly where we are. Why have they gone to such lengths to drain power from spirits?
Jims. I don't see that rogue necromancer yet. I suspect they're nearby. Let's inspect their handiwork. Navarra's most eminent meddler. Johanna Hesenkos! You've met? Oh, the Professor and I have known each other for ages. But only one of us realized the Watchers are no place for a mage with ambition. She's just trying to needle you. Johanna always did make a sport of it. Resentful prattling from the one left behind. No. The stone life in Atlantum could permanently tear open the fade here. Correct. Only the foolhardy would shed blood near it in this state. So. Let the Watchers mourn your pathetic death in the Fade, Emric Volcaren. Those that are left after my return. No. What is she planning? Emric, be okay to fight? Yes. Johanna took the lantern away with her. Enemies afraid. Hesenkost due to that spirit. I'll try freeing it, but I fear the worst. Nothing. The spirit, its essence, is gone. Johanna's trapped it in her lantern. Then let's find her. There's always a way out. Quite right. The Fade always provides a way forward. We only need to search for it. 
Then let's get looking. The candle. This wasn't here before. Now, let me think. We're in a receptive eddy of the Fade, and since Johanna's spirit summoning has already focused its mana, do you recall the ritual we performed in the Grand Necropolis? Concentrate on that memory. You mean when we were lighting candles? Find some more, and we can use them to leave this place. Here's that last candle. Excellent. Place them on the pedestals, if you would. Drift upon the echoes of the Vath. Let them form a new configuration. And with that... Like I said, always a way out. We must find Johanna once we're out of here. This rift in the Fade will lie open until we deal with her. so quickly. Where's Hezenkasa's voice coming from? The Hand of Glory resonates. It's pointing to the main hall. Let's go. I can feel Johanna summoning hostile spirits. That portal into the Fade won't close until we defeat them. But we still can't attack Hezenkasa herself while she's holding that lantern? The entire countryside would be torn apart in a maelstrom. out of the Fade. It's not difficult for those who treat spirits better than tools to an end, Johanna. Sentimental drivel. You may have stopped my work here, but Navarra City will know its new ruler. Look, that lantern's dangerous. Why don't we talk about this? <laughs> Dangerous to those who fail to realize what can be done with it! Though the professor clearly avoided mentioning his old colleague in exile. We made every attempt to bring you to reason. I gave you every chance to join me instead of whining endlessly about your mortality. But I must thank you for returning something dear to me. Lovely to have my hand back. Exchanged it with the Venatori for some favors after entering this condition. Johanna, what have you done? What you never had the courage to. Let's <laughs> go. 
Ah, nicely done. It's over. Emmerich, still sense anything wrong? We were successful. Johanna's magic no longer changed the spirits, and the fade is still. Great. Okay. So let's talk back at the lighthouse. we freed those spirits from their suffering. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. Gladly. Oh, the Song of the Chambers won't have anything on what Johannes... Perhaps the Waking Scrolls? No. Manfred, have you seen the Felmarch manuscripts? You and Manfred need an extra pair of eyes for whatever this is? I suppose it's time I explained this mess. Johanna Hesenkos was a watcher. She was banished for embracing the darker paths of our art. Forbidden magic, blood sacrifice, nothing is beyond her if it leads to power, recognition, or both. It sounded like you knew her before all that. We were friends, once. I guess it was a shock to see her back there, then. An unexpected reunion. It wasn't always like this. She truly was brilliant, and we got on so well as students. We partnered on papers, rituals, research. Yet even then, Johanna considered the Watcher's oaths quaint. This isn't the first time we've crossed paths since she was exiled. But now, I fear she's turned herself partly undead. She made herself half undead? On purpose? There are advantages to undeath you may not be familiar with. I'm good. You saw Johanna's Lantern of Unwilling Souls. A necromancer could create monstrous undead with that much stolen life. Hezenkos was yelling a lot about conquering Navarra City. We must stop her, Rook. <sighs> Thank you, Manfred. Quite right. The Order's knowledge will see us through. Hezenkos had been stopped. For now. But she had big plans for Navarra. City conquering. New ruler plans. <laughs> and while she had some regrets about long lost friendships, she knew her greatest invention was going to bring down the house.
Meet me in Ravain? I've got sparring practice with the lords and I could use the sea air. So could you. You know, that sounds quite nice. All right then. I'll see you soon. Spirit of determination. May your enemies die bitter. Yes! Good. They said I could find you here. Good timing. I think I'm done for the day. The Lords of Fortune don't mess around, do they? Hey, thanks for the lessons. I'll be back. Ugh. <sighs> I'm beat. I just gotta... You just gotta... Do you feel that? It's dark. And they're so afraid. So alone. Hurting? What's happening? There's so many of them. All in my head. So... Much. I... Hey, let's just talk. Talk to me. Uh, uh, I could feel it. Rippling through the stone. Confusion. Isolation. Fear. Whose fear? Whatever was after me has turned on the dwarves. It's drawing me out. Drawing me down. And so you'll stay here and ignore it completely. It's hurting people. I have to... We've all heard this story. Evil thing calls its victim to the bad place. Victim goes. Victim dies. Only if victim goes alone. Never go to the bad place alone. So, you're coming, right? This was not the point I was trying to make. Well, innocents need our help. <sighs> Damn it. The Golden Glory. Excellent timing, Rook. I've news about our Venatory spy and Crow Turncoat. I have deciphered the code from the notes you found. Our friends will meet soon. They plan to take a gondola to rendezvous in the market. And you want me to go look for a trail and hunt down these spies? Precisely. Chance Condide is too conspicuous. You'll blend into the comings and goings seamlessly.
are you? Are you in league with those traitors? Traitors? Take them alive. I want them for question. <laughs> Those Venatori were also looking for the spies Chance sent us after. <gasps> this is where our Crow and Venatori spies were supposed to meet, Chance said. Let's see if we can track them down in the market. Torn up papers? More of that cipher? Are those spies trying to get rid of some evidence? Want to try anything on? Another sign of that crow in Venatori. It looks like one of our spies dropped a bag. They must have been in a hurry. The note inside said they'd be keeping out of sight in the market for a while. I think our Crow and Venatory spies were here. What is a governor supposed to be doing in time? Greetings. I liaise. For all that the Antam are violent, the Butcher can at least be reasoned. You'd make deals with invaders? If it's secured, what you The Anta make the mask, but so do the crows. Let our guests enjoy our hospitality. A house of chance.
Everything has provenance. Looking for anything in particular? Wait. Flowers? More wine? This crow and venatory... Those weren't spy notes we found before. They were love letters. <laughs> I can't believe this. We've been chasing a pair of sweethearts. I don't think the crows or venatory will be happy these two are seeing each other. Those coffee cups on the table... They must have been at a nearby cafe. Let's see if there's any trace of them there. Best place in Treviso. One of the few parts of a city worth calling civilized. The Venatori are preparing an ambush for the crows, and they're trying to capture this secret couple to interrogate them. So what's the plan? We could send the couple a note. Warn them that the crows are hunting them too, and that they should leave the city. Or I could tell Chance that a crow's been seeing a Venatori. Not sure he'd be pleased to hear that. <laughs> the butcher wants to see Treviso? Then he shall. My father will throw a ball and I will wear the best There. We left a warning note for a secret couple. Chance will want to know. I have heard that Crow and Venatori spies may have eloped. Could be. I would not have thought it. But who is Chance Candide to scowl at love? No. 
He will wish them well instead. It's done. And it sounds like that couple left just in time. Hope it works out. People are energized after seeing that dragon run out of Treviso. They sing the cross praises more loudly in the streets. Except in front of the Antam. Rook, we have news about the Antam's experiments with Gatlock. What's happening? They're working with Venatori to set off these new and improved explosives across the city. They'll be set off simultaneously to impress the citizens with their new toys. And to strategically destroy the homes of those they deem troublesome. Our agents cannot be everywhere. I will mark several locations where they store this catlock. Destroy it discreetly. Er said I'm watching my throat too much. What's that even mean? There's the experimental Gatlock. Looks like the Venatori and Antom are guarding it. I haven't set it up to explode yet. Better make sure they never get the chance. Past you will never see. Get rid of the rest of this Gatlock. That's all the Gatlock here. On to the next spot. Over there, more of that Gatlock to Venatori made stronger. Faster, Slaughter! Okay, 
Just one more pile of Gatlock to deal with. Maybe we can get to it before these idiots blow up half the city. There's that last cache of Gatlock. The Antam and Venatori are on alert. gotten rid of the last of this new Gatlock. I almost thought those Antam and Benatori would turn on each other. They weren't too satisfied with this enchanted Gatlock either. They won't be making another batch anytime soon. Now Treviso can breathe easier. We have discovered more spirits causing ruin. Kindly correct them. This haunting, to our chagrin, was once one of our own Fade Explorers. He delved where he should not. A possessed dragon. We must find why its body was entombed here. Audrey.
There's that haunting Myrna mentioned. Save explore. I took care of that Fade Explorer. We are greatly indebted. He can now rest for a time. Our collegial allies in the Fade have informed us of several undead banding together. They have begun to seek blood. There are whispers from the levels below. We shall find them. It's a haunting. Yeah. <laughs> 
weird. Something's testing us. Something dark. On your guard.
someone raising them. Dead looked familiar. And whoever they serve, they're fighting for the gods now. Ready again. Sleeps here, dweller. Death and blight have not tempered its rage. Corruption, undead. I'd say we found out who's responsible.
Pulling energy from the fate here. You've got trouble on your right. Fade tear closed. Another revenant destroyed. Another essence gained. That makes three essences. We should start looking for somewhere to use them. It's gone. And the fade tear, too. That'll slow down the gods' plans, at least on this island. be why the revenants were raised to keep that door sealed time to see what the gods are hiding in there light up ahead enough blight to drown a man that's not a good sign
You can feel it down there. Ready? If I can stop at this rod, I mean. Eyes up, weapons ready. <clears throat> Feeding on the blight. Destroy it before the corruption eats us alive. Stay in cover.
still in one piece. Corruption staunched. The heaven era cease their gnawing. The crossroads heals. A sanctum renewed dweller. As is needed. We did it. The dragon must have been the god's final weapon to take the crossroads. It is good to remove unwanted guests. Let's go. Fascinating. Unforeseen. Who are you? Must not reveal. Must not alarm. Soon, though. Very soon. We finished off a whole group of skeletons. Interesting that they banded together. It availed them not. We must keep track of our skeletal assistants.
something wrong? I got a message. A place called the Cauldron was attacked. At some sort of Grey Warden tavern? It's a secret Warden readout. No idea what goes on there. Then why are you involved? Because whatever attacked it sounds like the Gloom Howler. The, uh, walking, wailing nightmare? A veil jumper afraid of the shadows? Well, I wouldn't invite the things that live in the shadows over for tea. I've got something less pleasant in mind. What's left of the Wardens are still licking their wounds. So we handle this alone. Just go to the cauldron and get the griffins back. You have to promise to behave, boy. Listen to every word I say, stay out of trouble, don't do anything dumb, and don't eat any. <laughs> I think we get the point. I thought you were trying to toughen him up. Doesn't mean I want to see him get any scars doing it. I'm supposed to be the bodyguard. Keep that feathery butt safe. Oh, look who's got a soft spot. He kind of grows on you. So do you. It's that famous Grey Warden charm. You could be... <sighs> Should have known it was too quiet. Maybe that Turlam idea, that unity between Warden and Griffin, starts by having faith in each other. Maybe. I suppose you were born for this sort of fight, boy. All talons and temper. And a sharp tongue to remind you of it. As long as he backs it up. Hello there. Just admiring how carefully the fade is woven into this place. As cultivated as a palace garden. That's old elven stuff for you. Magic everywhere you look, and also where you don't. I do envy you, Rook. Really? Oh, consider all the secrets you must have uncovered in Arlathan with the Veil Jumpers. Not to mention traveling with Varric. The adventures you've already had. I guess I have had some pretty great times. Oh, I'd love to hear about more of them. Really? Work was always my excuse not to travel. But now that I've joined you, I'm finally exploring outside Navarra's crypts. Ah, speaking of the necropolis. Yes? I've been meaning to ask how you'd like your body prepared in the event of your death. How did we jump to this? Why did we jump to this? It's just a bit of small talk. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Ah, he's finished the reagent. Please excuse us. Excellent work, Manfred.
Davern, I think this is where those wardens were attacked. The cauldron. Let's have a look. Yeah, a bad day at the cauldron. What could do that? What have they been hiding inside? Whatever it is, I'm sure they had good reasons for all the secrecy. Look what happened to Weishaupt. Must be something more secret than Griffin's. Be ready for anything. Azan can get us up there. Cauldron, it probably wasn't great on its best day. We're not in yet. This is just an outer courtyard. The cauldron would be underground. We need to find a way in. Tried to stop the gloom howler. Ambush! Like every dangerous artifact or weapon the wardens ever came across. Are they connected to the Gloom Howler? Wouldn't mind having some of this stuff for myself. Don't even think about it. If it's also dangerous, the wardens locked it away. We're not touching anything.
One boil down, we go. Destroy the blight, lower the bridge. Got it. Don't know. Looks useful if you want to move heavy equipment or something. Maybe the cauldron's an armory? Could be. Why hide it all the way out here? It doesn't make sense. We won't know until we get inside. Bad dude. Bridge is down. We can get in now. We're in. Welcome to the cauldron. I still don't understand what this place is. Let's find out.
doors are marked with dates. 325? 524 here. And 931 over there. It's Blight's. The year they ended. That's not ominous. Look for a door we can open. Bones. It did animal? Seems a little careless. This can't be. It's a griffin. <laughs> Davrin, how exactly did the griffins go extinct? He died out fighting the fourth light. Did the warden hit them? These bones look wrong, like they're diseased. Or blighted. But how? I don't like this. Unbelievable. An archdemon. So that's what the cauldron really is. A giant tomb. All those rooms, with the dates of the Blight? More Archdemons. This one would be Zazakel. This place feels wrong, like someone doing blood magic. The Gloomhauer's in here somewhere. Let's find it. Some Blight here. Looks fresh. Then the Howler's close. <coughs> Scream all you want! It's no match for steel! Rise! Secrets long buried will have their day. We have to destroy the blight boards. That'll stop these fools. Got it. The cauldron feels old. There's some up top. Surrounded by sharp claws. Whoever you are, face me! What are you? A war against the darkness. You are the darkness. You're a monster. To those who made me. Where are the other griffins? I liberated them. What does that mean? What are you going to do with them? Free them from the tyranny of the Wardens. Grey Wardens rid the world of horrors like you. They created the horrors. The bones of griffins abandoned in this cauldron. Proud. Warriors forgotten. Who are you? Their salvation. The blood offers protection. Archdemon blood? 
You're blighting them? Protecting them. The same blood runs through your veins, Warden. Join with us and honor their future. I die first! Then this is your tomb. Howler's gone. It's okay. Let it go. Whatever you say. I need to catch my breath anyway. We all should. Never hunt things you don't understand. The Gloom Howler is more than a monster. Your quarry, your call. I got what I needed. The sun stripped a piece of its clothing. Gives me something to go on. Even though I told you to stay put. He did save you. He could have been killed. He cares about you. That's part of Turlum, right? Well, I suppose that was good form extending your talents. That'll leave a scratch. 
Yeah, yeah. You're getting the hang of things. Let's go, boy. This place is pure evil. Can't say I ever want to see this place again. Ready to go? I'm ready. Me too. Archdemon blood's as dangerous as it gets. Grey Wardens keep it locked away for good reason. The stuff is pure evil. But not as evil as using it to blight the only griffins in the world. Now the Gloom Howler held that honor. Asan's brothers and sisters needed a miracle. And it would be up to Davrin and his flying friend to deliver.